Hey guys, it's Jeremiah and we're here at the beautiful Fairmont Grand Hotel at Grubel Fossey Suite. You just saw, you know, we're overlooking Lake Geneva. It's a beautiful, uh, you know, morning. And we are here to look at the new Grubel Fossey GMT Volunteer Convex. This incredible watch. We had the pleasure of uh, hosting Grubel Fossey at the launch of their Tobion 24 Second Architecture in Singapore. But now we're in Geneva and looking at their latest launch. And I want to show you this new watch today. Just let me remove the glove. It's probably easier to take it off. Should come closer and see. So Grubel Fossey has really updated the design. Now the iconic terrestrial globe is front and center on the dial. Before it was always often to the side, I think at the bottom left. Uh, you know, the GMT was first introduced in 2011 with a bit of an asymmetric case design, but now it comes in the amazing convex and you can see it no longer has the standard hour and minute hands. Uh, I believe on the GMT Sport, it was, uh, the hands were attached on a flying bridge, right? But now they come as two uh, differently sized triangles. Obviously the bigger ones the, uh, tells you the hour and the smaller one, uh, the minutes and there is a 24 hour ring around this globe so you can see both day and night uh, UTC. It's incredibly easy to read off both, sorry about that, both the globe and the ring actually rotate uh, together. And if you were to push the pusher here, you can easily change a second time zone. It's incredibly intuitive. And this is also the first time that uh, the Inclined Balance, one of uh, Grubel Fossey's seven fundamental inventions, uh, is also introduced into the GMT line. And you can see this is the 30 degree inclined balance, incredible finishing on the titanium bridges, black polish, completely distortion free. And you also have a small second indicator right here. What's interesting to note about this dial as well, the top half, has been applied with a hand finishing technique for the very first time uh, for Grubel Fosse and it's used with a steel brush. It's a type of uh, renage as they call it and it, it looks like what I would call in English a, like a stippled uh, effect and it's more pronounced. It gives even more uh, depth to the amazing dial and there's so much to look at. There's so many polished and brush finishes but just looking at that new renage finish is just incredible. If we turn it to the back, you guys probably already know this is the iconic 24 uh, city reference time ring that appears on other GMT models. But what's interesting in this new GMT model is that they have removed the reference city of Paris and replaced it with La Chaux de Fonds, the home and the heart and soul of Grubel Fosse. Again, this is 43.5 millimeters made in titanium. Uh, it actually comes on a blue strap uh, in the standard package, both a blue rubber and a blue ballistic nylon. But here we have a red ballistic nylon that you can request if you'd like to change to this color, if you prefer this color. And of course, there is a very soft suede, which is just so comfortable to wear. If you would like to have a complete titanium look, unfortunately, we don't have it with us today, but you can also order the incredibly supple uh, titanium bracelet, you know, that's, that's only uh, to order. So you have to reach out to your, your Grubel Fosse representative in your region and they'll be able to set you up. So, all right, guys, here's a very quick look um, of the new Grubel Fosse GMT. It's a beautiful, beautiful watch. I think the price is 350,000 US dollars. is one of the more accessibly, uh, more accessible, I should say, uh, Grubel Fosse's out there. I think the uh, the other one will probably be the Balancia Convex S2 uh, at 212000 But, you know, this is a new direction that Grubel Fosse is taking and, you know, it's worth every single penny, I feel. So, take care and see you guys soon. Bye.